Hello, and welcome to Roltmark on Foundry VTT from AAW Games, an adventure written by Jonathan G. Nelson. Roltmark is a highly challenging adventure for four to six characters, starting at levels five to seven and concluding at levels eight through 11. During this adventure, the adventurers investigate a solitary spire of stone in the barren mountain wastelands. According to legend, water once sprung forth from this spire, blessing the land with life. Now, the land is dry, the ancient site in ruins, and a wondrous water clock is stagnant. This stagnation infuses all beings, from the strange cultists on the surface to the former elemental guardians deep below. It is up to the adventurers to defeat the ancient evils within Roltmork, restore the water clock, and bring life back to the land. This video is meant as an overview for dungeon masters to get an idea of how the mechanics of Roltmork will work. Once you have the adventure imported in Foundry, you will find that you have several journal entries. The Welcome to Roltmark Foundry VTT entry will give you an overview of some of the things we will be going over in this video. These journal entries include artwork that can be used to show the adventurers exactly what they're seeing as they proceed through the dungeon. These journal entries include links to creatures, items, and other sections within the journals to make your experience smooth and quick while you're running Roltmark for your players. Throughout these journal entries, you may find Foundry VTT notes highlighted in orange boxes to help you understand how to run this particular scene a little better. Additionally, most of these sections also include an area at a glance section, which gives the game master a quick overview of the section, in many cases including a hard mode that you can use to make the encounter more difficult. A key element of Roltmork is stagnation and flow. These are represented with green text and blue text throughout. Some of the creatures within Roltmork can exist in both stagnation and flow modes. Going to the effects of the creature, list which mode they're currently in. Swapping these modes will swap features for that creature. As you can see, some of the features are listed in blue and some in green. The blue features are only available in flow mode, where the green features are only available in stagnation mode. Additionally, several macros are also included in this adventure. The macro for flow stagnation token swap, which you can put on your hotbar, will be used to swap the token for these types of creatures. Here on this map, we see several creatures that are currently hidden from the players and are in stagnation mode, which you can see from the green border. When you're ready for these creatures to appear and attack the players, go ahead and unhide them. And if they need to be swapped into flow mode, you can use the macro for flow stagnation token swap by selecting a token and clicking this macro, swapping it to a different border with a blue image. Note that this macro does not change the mode that the creature is in. You'll still want to open up the token and swap them from stagnation mode into flow mode to enable different abilities. Additional macros can be found in your macro directory and feel free to add these onto your macro hotbar. When a macro is made for a certain scene or location, there'll be a Foundry VTT note also telling you that you can use that macro and you can click that macro from right within the journal entry to execute it as well. Another feature of Roltmark is that we include both static and animated maps for different scenes. Some people may find that the animated maps are too system resource intensive for their computers or for their players' computers, and so use the static map. But if you prefer, the animated maps have some great little features. At first, you might not notice, but the fog is flowing around and you will occasionally see a small critter coming running across the floor. Other maps, like this outdoor map of Fort Roltmork, are a little bit more clear on their animations. Additionally, we have macros for these to swap between different scenes. Here we see the runes of Roltmork animated map picker. I'll bring this down to my hotbar, and when I use this, you'll see that we get three different options for maps. We have day, which we're looking at now, but we also have night with no torches, and we have a night with torches option. So just clicking on these will select a different map without changing scenes. Here we have our Runes of Voltmork static map, which is a little different, but we also have a macro for this map. The Runes of Voltmork static map picker, which I'll add to my hotbar, will give us a few additional options. We have four different views. We have day with the stairs caved in, as we see here. We also have the day with stairs dug out, and we have the nighttime versions of both of these maps as well, including animated lights. Some maps like Dungeon Room 1 also have traps that can be sprung and we can see those traps being sprung with our macros. Here we go to our Dungeon Room 1 animated trap macro 
And when I execute this macro, we can choose the trap sprung option and we can see the trap spring up here. You also find several types of traps throughout the dungeon, both complex and simple. With complex traps, you'll want to read through the journal entry for that trap to understand all the effects and be able to execute those during the combat. For simple traps, we've included NPC actors here that you can open up and use the features within to trigger the traps. These generally consist of a trigger, which tells you the trigger effect, the effect of what happens when the trap is triggered, and countermeasures that can be done. When we roll the actual effect, we can use its ability and in this case, it puts a 20 foot radius effect down on the map. And we can go in here and we can now roll our damage and have our players roll their dexterity saving throws. We do this to hopefully speed up your encounters and create less delays while you're playing your game. When it comes to certain magic items in Roltmark, they are going to have both player descriptions and dungeon master descriptions. An example is here where we see this icon that represents the player description, and this is what the players will see when you hand them the card. However, as we scroll down, we'll see this lock icon, and in a secret text box, we'll see information that only you as the dungeon master will see. You can always choose to reveal this information to the player by clicking on the reveal button. Another feature in this module is our player handouts. Every player handout that you'll encounter throughout your journal entries are also listed here in the player's handout section. Feel free to open these and share them with your players. Finally, you'll come across a section called Visions of the Past, where your players will be pulled into the past history of Roltmark and be given an NPC character to run. Those character sheets can be found here, but they are somewhat limited as this section of the adventure is meant to be more theater of the mind. No combat should ever take place during this part of the adventure, but if for some reason it does, your characters will end up fighting fellow Vasi priests. Those stat blocks can be found down here. That concludes our Roltmark for Foundry VTT Dungeon Master tutorial. We hope that you enjoy the adventure, and if you have any questions, please join us on the AAW Discord server. Thanks, and safe adventuring.